Good everyone. I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'll do today, I'll I'll start with the uh, the conversation about Einstein and importance of Einstein. Then we can look at more detail aspect of it in the le- in the next episode. But today I just wanted to keep the conversation going, just to uh, get you guys excited. What Einstein is all about, right? You might have heard about Einstein. <clears throat> maybe this is the first time, or maybe this is not the first time, right? Whatever that's the case. Um, I'm going to explain to you what is it about, right? So um, in Salesforce, right, like before before I even get into Einstein, you, if you remember, I, I spoke about a chatbot uh, with one of the New Zealand website, right, the countdown. Um, and that chatbot is built into that website, and it obviously relies on the countdown, whatever the data it uses. Um, oh, let, let's, let's try it, actually. Let's see if it really relies on the data. Before, uh, sorry, digress, but just wanted to sh- show you something, so that you have a bit of understanding of what I'm talking from an Einstein perspective. Um, what's the what is the price of um, Heineken beer um, for s- price of s- oh, sorry six. I don't know if it six cans Heineken beer. So, um, Heineken. Yeah. So you see, it it relies on the so. Now, this is not Salesforce, but this is a something outside the Salesforce. So, the, this is an olive uh, for a New Zealand uh, supermarket website. It relies on underlying New Zealand um, data. Sorry, it relies on this uh, the countdown data to uh, display you the right output. So, um, what I did, I asked, "Hey, can you give me the price of a Heineken beer, uh, which is twenty four ninety New Zealand dollars um, for twelve pack?" Hmm, its price has gone up, but anyways, um, so. Uh, so this is a uh, so they relied uh, so this software talks to the data, which holds the information about the price and product, and gives you the resi- desired output. The same thing if you if, if I take your attention back to the Salesforce, right? So Einstein pretty much does the same job, right? Einstein is a trusted AI assistant for um, for Salesforce, right? So. I now I hope you know what AI means, right? Because I, I've spoke about it so many times, so I don't really want it to repeat. So I expect you understand by now what AI is. If not, then I will not encourage you to watch this. You just go back to my first episode and then start from there. Okay, so AI plays a very important role when it comes to assistance because obviously AI streamlines a lot of the process uh, so that the users can get all the, unless, not all, I would say, the necessary required information without talking to a live uh, agent, right? Now, um, it, when it comes to Salesforce, right, um, AI assistance is highly integrated. What that means is that it uses Salesforce data to give you the desired output. So it, it works as magic on the Salesforce, if I put it in a very layman terms. Um, so it uses machine learning behind the hood, uh, auto ML. There is something called auto machine learning, which uh, is responsible for data cleaning, uh, feature identification, and showing the desire and creating an auto generating a model, and so that you get the desired output. Now, in machine learning field, right, um, it's not just about building a model, right? The data cleaning plays a very important role because obviously you cannot train your model uh, with a invalid data or with, with, with the data which is not in the right format or, or the data which is not cleansed properly because what will happen, even though you might have a valuable information in the data, but since the data is not in the form to be recognized by a model, that data will be ignored. So your model will not really uh, perform the task in an effective way. So the same goes with the feature um, assignment. So the feature metrics, right? When it, in 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 artificial in machine learning, 
it's just let's say you have you wanted to uh, determine the house price right uh, say for instance in Auckland or in New Zealand so what constitutes the house price or what drives the house price There's a lot of things right uh, the number of bedrooms uh, the size the, the square feet uh, of the land or, or, or the house the location from the city center now the feature metrics will help you understand uh, what feature plays an important role, which feature holds the more weightage, or which feature is contributing to that house price. Yeah, combination of one or or you know, or a single feature or whatever, right? So that's all taken care uh, for you behind the scene by Einstein, like auto ML uh, yeah, under the hood by Salesforce. Because otherwise what happens, right? Think about it. If you don't have any of this, you probably would have to hire data scientists. And data scientists are expensive. And Salesforce would have to do the same, right? So now, when if the software can do that, you don't really need to focus on the data scientist aspect. I'm not saying not to get one, but you don't need too many of it. Too many of them, right? And now, please don't come to me with a question, oh, so are you saying data science have no future? I'm not saying any of those things. I'm just saying uh, what Einstein can do, right? I'm not really saying that you should not go and study data science. Uh, there are companies who do stuff from the scratch. Uh, there will be a requirement for data scientists, so I'm, it's not going to go away anywhere, right? So it's just that you need to learn more stuff. Uh, back in the days, uh, data science, if you know just machine learning, you will probably end up in finding an opportunity to, you know, uh, to showcase your skill set. But now, uh, even to reach to that stage, ML is not enough machine learning. You need to know deep learning, um, and all of this kind of stuff, right? You need to know different algorithms. Uh, so some companies do expect a data scientist to know both because they might work on both aspects of it. So it's, it's very good to have. So uh, sorry, I digress, but I just wanted to clarify an assumption because after you listen to this uh, episode, you might say, hey, this guy's saying we got no future for data scientists. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, Artificial intelligence in Salesforce, right? When it comes to Einstein, it uses something called Auto ML, and which do which automate a lot of stuff for you. Okay, now when you talk about AI system, right? What does AI system even mean, right? Because I've been blabbering for like five minutes, ten minutes. So first thing, it should accept an input, could be in the form of text or voice, <clears throat> and whatever you spoke or whatever you type. It should be processed using natural language processing. We we spoke about natural language processing. I did a two episode on it. If you are not sure, please have a look at that, right? And then the voice output. Obviously, you don't want to have a software where you just display stuff on the screen. It would be good if, if you know if, if it has the speech processing uh, aspect to it, right? And also, um, you know, uh, your chatbot should interpret Inter there's an interpretation that needs to happen, right? Let's say, for instance, I said, hey, can you please give me the price of this Heineken beer? Obviously, it, it, it understood what I'm trying to say, right? It, you know, so all the kind of natural language processing, like tokenization, uh, you know, the one which I explained yesterday, so goes behind the scene. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you get a response based on that. So that's what intelligent interpretation and then um, agency, you know, it, to set up a follow-up meeting. So for instance, you had a meeting, you had a conversation with the client and for some reason the client, so the conversation ended uh, without any conclusion. So the AI is smart enough to figure out, okay, can we schedule another meeting? Because it seems like you didn't achieve the desired output in in the previous conversation. So, so Einstein has a lot of functionality out of box, right? Like I said, it's just mentioned there. Uh, so it integrated with um, the sales cloud, service cloud, right? And other clouds as well. So what does that mean is that, you know, you have a data inside the Salesforce, right? Data gets stored into the Salesforce objects and Einstein can make use of the data to give the right uh, expected outcome or uh, so yeah um, 
Einstein, so now one more thing I just wanted to touch upon. When, you, when we talk about Einstein, right? Okay, I understood. You might say this is a, uh, AI, it's a uh, AI assistant. I get that. But can you tell me the core philosophy behind Einstein? So Einstein, uh, you know, if you're a Salesforce user, Einstein will do discover, predict, recommend, automate, generate. So it discover insights that brings new clarity about your company customer, predicts the outcome so that, you know, you can make decision, right? And then recommend the best action to most out of that uh, prediction, uh, most out of that engagement, then it automated in, and it generates the content, right? Um, so you might be wondering, right, if I am a software company, I use Salesforce, um, how does Einstein want to help me? So it may help you in a sales cloud to generate more leads. Uh, when it comes to the service cloud, it might help you, your customer rep, to help the customer, you know, by looking at the right knowledge base article. So Einstein can help you with that. And for the commerce platform, you know, you can help the customer uh, to recommend the products, right, based on their initial uh, buying habit. Yeah. So now this is very important. Uh, what makes Einstein different? I already talked about it because you are dealing with the data within, sorry, inside the Salesforce. So Einstein really look into that data because it, everything is inside the Salesforce. So Einstein is very helpful on that aspect. And you can also, it, can, it does predictions based on the modeling stuff it does. And it's called automated machine learning, auto ML, right? Which I spoke about just now, like five minutes ago. And, uh, and yeah, that's that's in a nutshell what Einstein is all about, right? So if you are a company, if you are a business or use Salesforce and thinking whether uh, should I be using Einstein, so ask yourself the following question, right? If you are using, how is your sales funnel, right? How is the lead generation process? Is there something uh, AI can help to expedite the lead uh, conversion rate, right? If the answer to that is yes, then you can pretty much go with that option of using Einstein, right? And then the, if you are using service cloud, then you should be asking, how is the case management going? What I meant by that is that, how is my agent, how are my agents responding to the customer queries? So you can look at the dashboard, you can look at the metrics and you can, you can ask yourself or, you know, have a brainstorming session with your team to see if there's something Einstein can help improve that process, right? The same goes with the commerce cloud. So I'm not saying that, you know, business should go and straight away use Einstein. Uh, though if you are from Salesforce, they would say, hey, you should use it. I'm not from Salesforce. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a customer of a Salesforce. So I, I will use Salesforce based on what works for my business, right? Not based on what Salesforce tells me to do because they are there to sell the product. They will tell anything they want to say, right? To make sure they can sell it. So you as a business owner shouldn't need to identify whether Einstein really works for you, right? And if the Einstein is not going to work for you, that's fine. You can, you know, you can look for another option. You don't really have to use Einstein for everything, right? So that's something you have to keep into consideration. If Even if you're a consultant working for a company, right, it's your responsibility to make sure you understand the business requirement and and recommend the tool which is important don't recommend you know something which is you know great greatest or or not the way i should put it not the greatest i mean uh, please do not recommend something which is new right and salesforce is heavily advertising and saying oh yeah we're gonna do this we're gonna do that if you think as a consultant or a business owner if this technology is not gonna work for your business then don't bother investing your money in that and that's something you should have the uh, right amount of knowledge to identify, right? So that's why it's very important if you're as a consultant working for a firm or if you're a business owner who's taking care of everything by yourself to have a right knowledge about the platform so that you can make an informed decision. I hope that's clear because I just wanted to not teach you guys this certification just for the sake of clearing the certification, but 
from a point of a business impact, what you can make, right? Because we all are champions in our own field. We wanted to ensure that, you know, whichever company we work or whichever businesses we run, we make the best use of our time and the resource that's available. And if you're using Salesforce, we just you need to make sure you understand the platform very well and try to understand why we're doing this, not how we're doing this, right? The how part is the easiest part. The why part is the difficult part, right? So that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. Adios.